What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our August 1st fish report for the Jersey Shore. And guys, first, let me just get the air cleared here. But I know what you all are thinking. And no, Jersey Boys Outdoors is not splitting up. I promise me and Isaac are still on good terms. <laughs> he just... I went away last week, had a great vacation with my family, and then we flip-flopped, and now he's on vacation, and I'm back. So uh, next week, things will be back to normal. You'll have both of us back in here, and uh, the report will be flowing like usually does. But let's get into our uh, July flute contest. Uh, there may be some things changing up here, but for right now, Ron, you are still in the lead with his 23-and-a-half-inch fluke. Guys, remember, don't forget to send in your fish for these contests. Uh, it is now August 1st, which is unbelievable to think about. Uh, so we are doing a, say, the same largest fluke contest for the month of August. Send us in a picture of your fluke uh, called In the State of New Jersey during the month of August. And it has to have a picture of it next to a tape measure. Send it through our text line, through our email, Facebook, Instagram, however you want to find us. Send it in, and we would be thrilled to show it on there. And then you also get to pick out uh, a hat from our store. Um, listen, also, guys, if you want to go to our store anytime, you can be more than welcome to do that. It should be down below uh, in your description there. Uh, but you also get a free sticker, and that's it. It's free to enter. So um, with that being said, I believe that's all I have to talk about. Let's get into our report, things you guys are all here for. I'm going to start off with our new leader for our fluke contest. Leon Coral landed his 24-inch fluke while fishing the north end of the Barnegat Light using 5-inch gulp mullet. Uh, and Leon, your fish only has to hold on for another few hours, and you will be the winner. Uh, we actually record this the day before Thursday, so it's currently Wednesday right now. Uh, so, uh, uh, Leon, hopefully I don't get any of our fish sent to me in the next couple of hours, and you will be the winner. Uh, then I have Rob Vogelzang, and Rob, we always appreciate you helping us uh, know how to say your last name. Uh, he was out in the Great Bay fighting the Greenheads, but was able to land a 21-inch keeper on uh, one day and then a 21 and 19 the next. Uh, he was using pink and white grubs with a bucktail. Uh, Chris DeVito, the owner of Bougie Bates, was able to get out with his son, Rocco. They were fishing the Atlantic City Inlet when they were able to land a 21 and 19-inch fluke. They were using 4-inch Bougie Shrimp. James Flynn was, the T, uh, was fishing the TI Reef or the Townsend Inlet Reef, uh, which I hear is heating up. He was able to land this nice 22-inch keeper using Blue Fuse Gulp. Carl Chen was able to get out with Chuck Doreen, Carl Hartman, James, and Adrian. They were able to pick up a couple blues in the Barnegat Inlet using 5-inch bronze mag darter before heading out to the Garden State North Reef. Uh, there, Chuck was able to land a nice 21-inch fluke. They also landed tons of shorts, 8-ling, and 2-keeper sea bass. They are using white comma nuclear chicken and pink shine gold when i was writing this out i was like i feel like it's gonna be really odd when i say white nuclear chicken so there's a comma in between there's they're using white gulp nuclear chicken gulp and pink shine gulp uh and they were tipping them with squid strips and shrimp uh then finally i have the report from derek who says the trigger fish have arrived at the jetties in avalon he's catching them using a small piece of clam on a high low rate guys that's all i have Remember, uh, don't forget to send in your reports. Very simple. We always appreciate it. We love uh, hearing from you guys. And I promise you next week, guys, we'll be back together in here and things will be back to normal. Uh, good luck, everybody. We'll see you next week.